so much. Let's go back to the bottom. Uh, sometimes the state would have to kill an individual, 
uh, uh, either, either uh, through little injection, electric chair, all of these other things, or we, or we feed that person's right in German, we put that person in jail. And why is that? It's because we know that that person has been proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt. And what we're talking about is actually dictators who are already guilty beyond reasonable doubt. We're talking about Kim Jong-il, who is beyond reasonable doubt, actually sent missiles over uh, to see of their families in Germany. We're talking about dictators like Gaddafi, who's actually even documented to be able to kill all of these other people and has committed all of these human rights abuses in Germany. These people are proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt, and we have no reason to prove this, we uh, have no reason to, to doubt this government that these people have committed these, these abuses, and these people should have their rights hampered, even to the point of killing them, ladies and gentlemen, if that is what's best for the people in that nation and for the other states that actually that, that, that these dictators actually endanger. Next is about, would this help prevent future abuses? We say that in German that this is actually uh, <clears throat> very, very true because we, we prevent future abuses by, by assassinating these, these dictators. It's actually different when you actually imprison someone. Why is that? This means when you, when you, when you actually uh, kill that person, that person has no means of communication whatsoever. That person has already cut his, his godlike, uh, has, has already cut his godlike image already in German as what the Prime Minister and, and Deputy Prime Minister has already talk, talked about extensively. But when we kill this person, we actually kill off that person's connections, we kill off that person's perceived divinity in German. So in that way, in that paradigm, we actually even, it's, it's a better mechanism of killing off or preventing future abuses and what's a better way to actually scare off potential abusers than actually death in German which is already established all of these uh, uh, chaos and mayhem in Germany that, that these abusers have actually committed. And lastly, are there other better alternative means? In Germany, the, opposition, the opposition's clash was based on one thing, which is impeach these individuals. Now that would not work because of two reasons. Number one, impeachment is near impossible in Germany. How on earth can you actually impeach Kim Jong-il, who is actually in North Korea in Germany, who is not even uh, who is not even a, uh, who is not even substituting himself, you know, to be below the law. Ladies and gentlemen, these people are already perceived to be godlike in Germany. These people are already perceived to be above the law in Germany. And how can you even impeach someone who's already perceived to be above the law, above the people, and you know, perceived to be godlike in Germany? And for that reason, we are very, very proud to propose. Because that's the only way to imagine it. Then 
then he would be immediately impeached, and of course, he would he would ha he would have to serve the sufficient punishment given by by the people and given by the others. And also, he also said that he also said that that their model is necessary. That the, the assassination of these politicians is necessary in order for the the regime the regime to change. But the, Mr. Chair, how sure are you that this political assassination will ensure this regime change? What if this this regime that will follow will will not will not be necessarily better than the previous regime? It's, there is no assurance. There is no assurance for this, Mr. S Mr. Chair. And they also said that alternatives are not are not negotiable because because these these politicians or these leaders these dictators are drunk with their power. Mr. Mr. Chair. How sure are you that that this is not this our model is not enough? We are I am comparing our model to their model, but we, we are giving the sufficient 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 punishment against these politicians just then just by killing them and like making like like uh, so, uh that not not making them suffer for their crimes. In our model we state that we must make them suffer, Mr. Mr. Chair, that just by easily killing them and and ending these. So yes, and also we also said that politicians no longer deserve any humanitarian rights. Why do they what how who are you who are they? Who will choose? Who will who will dictate that these politicians do not do not deserve these humanitarian rights? Who are you to say that? He does not. He does not deserve these rights. And we also say, said that if if we take away, we take away, we take away this leader, change of, changes will eventually will eventually come along. And also, there the the group that he that he that he leads will also be eradicated. This is not necessarily true because what if this group will will have revolution against? Against others, or what if this group will have a better idea of how to do, how to how to dictate, or how to how to do something else? But what if, for example, let's say this this dictator dictator knows that pol political assassination is is possible, so he would he would have the chance to dominate over these people. Like for example, they said that the black ops. What if he would have this chance? If he would know that there is a poli 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 political assassination, then the do his domination over these people, over these people who are possibly gonna gonna assassinate him, it may be possible. Then, then, then his assassination would not would not follow because there's a possibility that, possibility that he would dominate over these people. And also, they also said that that their model sends a message of deterrence. Yes, their model sends a, a message of deterrence, but our model sends a better message of deterrence because 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 the sufficient punishment is is better than than just killing killing the the politician himself. And also, we said that the status quo the status quo does not the status quo does not does not does not does not work and it is ineffective. But according to our legislation, Mr. Chair, we are improving the status quo and. And if this certain dictator or this certain politician or this certain leader is is proven to have to have this to have given the sufficient evidence, this certain dictator is proven to really to really have been committed to really have committed these certain heinous crimes, then he would be immediately punished. Then then also these other his his followers would of course that would of course naturally follow would of course naturally be eradicated. And also, there they said that they said that uh, if the there 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 would be no there would be no chances of revolution because the people are already moved by their leaders' ideas. So if you say that the people are already moved, how could you possibly say that the assassination would take place? They would say that the people would already be moved by this dictator's ideas. So how how sure are you that this this assassination would take place if if these people, as they say? Are already moved. Are already moved by this dictator's dictator's ideas or ideology. And also, we're not saying, Mr. Chair, that we choose the killing of thousands than by the killing of just one person. We're just saying that we must avoid killing killing one and killing, of course, thousands by making that one, that leader, that dictator suffer for his heinous crimes. And they also said that these 
revolutions are chaotic according to our to our DLO. Killing killing itself, killing itself, the assassination itself is is also chaotic by nature. And also in our side, at least in our side, we abide by the laws. According we we give this certain this certain leader the appropriate the appropriate punishment according to his crime. We are following by the constitution. So we are not we are not we are not we are not uh, we are we are still following the constitution that just, that just by you know uh, disregarding this certain leaders certain leaders certain leaders rights and what if what if there there will of, there will also be a chance that this leader what if what if the, the there are certain people who want this leader to be asked or, the, or want this leader to be killed then they could just easily make him be assassinated than just by letting him go into trial. So that is why we really push for our model for the status quo than by just assassinating. <laughs>